So a uh, vegan sleeve gets really triggered by, um, you know who? Sean Baker, the carnivore doctor. Yes. Does that mean, oh, well, you know, you must be, you know, uh, outside the box type of thinker who really thinks critically and is really smart because who would have thought to not wipe their ass and walk around with a dirty butthole? Like... This artificial vegan slave bullshit, whatever, artificial dude, fucking slave dude, vegan slave, fucking lifting slave, gym slave, whatever, man, got so triggered by Sean Baker in the video, man. And the guy is really just a very calm person talking. He's just a doctor. I don't know. But, of course, you know, vegan slave, he's, uh, he's all triggered. Uh, no. There's a reason why there's like a mainstream narrative and you have most experts, you know, saying one thing or like the majority of evidence pointing in a certain fucking direction. It's because that's probably the right thing. There's probably a reason why most people fucking wipe their ass after they take a shit. Same reason. Yeah, they wipe their ass now when they take a shit because they're eating an artificial diet, bro. That's the reason. They're eating food that they're not supposed to. They can't digest. You're eating a bunch of fiber, which is undigestible, so it comes out like porridge. <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy. That's that a boy. Why most fucking people eat their fucking vegetables, you idiot? Why most people eat their vegetables? You mean these man-made engineer vegetables and fruits? You moron. He's telling you, don't do carnivore. Don't do carnivore. Carnivore meat is bad for you. You need fruits and vegetables and fiber. And what is it? This this agenda they've been pushing in this this new generation that's been coming up and pushing this weird <laughs> agenda, this thing called vegan, whatever the fuck this thing thing came out of. I don't know what, bro. But it's just more artificial, crazy, fake shit <laughs> by these crazy people. It's not based. It's not based on health. It's based on morals. They're telling you don't don't kill animals. Don't kill them. Even though you 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 as a carnivore have to eat animals because you're a carnivore, for health purposes, you eat meat for health purposes. But he's telling you don't eat it. Don't be healthy. Be like him, grumpy and triggered and shit and suffering. Be suffering like a vegan slave. Be a vegan slave and suffer like the rest of us for our morals, our immoral morals. Because man, you know, uh, we want to save the planet. We want to save the world, the universe, the animals, and all of that. Yeah, you're not saving anything. You don't control the environment. You you you're not in control here. So why worry about things that you have no control over? Hello, get it? It's like climate change. Oh, we're worried about climate change. Yeah, okay, go go fix it. Can you fix it? Can you raise the dead, bring them back? No, man, you can't do anything. So why worry about it? You understand me? Worry about the things that you can control and stop worrying about the things that you cannot control. See what I mean? But like I said, he these vegan people like this vegan slave is it's all about it's all about morals. It's not about health. You get it? You get it? That's why he's suffering. He's a madman. That's why he's crazy and insane. He's insane and crazy because plants do that to you because they're toxic. That's why people who inject steroids, it's a drug. When you inject it, it's toxic. That toxicity makes you insane crazy to lift crazy heavy weights and scream and yell and go, ah! Well, you destroy your body trying to lift the heaviest weight in the world and then cripple yourself like Ronnie Coleman and the rest of these people that are out there dropping off the face of the planet. And so you, it's like marijuana makes you crazy. That's why they put it out in the public to make you more crazy. Alcohol is poison. You drink it. It makes you crazy. Plants make you crazy. They have oxalates, toxins, and poisons. So you become infuriated, crazy. You're, you're dying from inflammation, inflammaging your stomach and everything. It's coursing through your blood, the, the fucking oxalates and shit, the toxins and poisons, the toxic goo. You're drinking that soup, man, called coffee. It's filled with glyphosates, this, that, sprayed with heavy shit and everything, full with toxins. Your rice is filled with arsenic. You're like, ah, more downing, more arsenic and shit and everything. There were no wonder why whole, all societies crazy and insane, genocidal maniacs and everything, going to their slave jobs, earning their slave money, and just totally insane. But when you eat a natural diet in nature, what you would naturally eat as a hunter, 
animals. You become a normal individual, but you become abnormal when you join this abnormal world, called the artificial man, man's world, eating man's artificial created foods and shit and all of that. Get it? Because the new style is morals all of a sudden came in. You know, if you, if you stop thinking with emotions, you'd be successful in life. But your problem is you're so emotional. And, and emotions, you may, you're lazy too. That's why you go to, your, you, accept, uh, you accept a job. You accept a job to, for $10 an hour minimum wage. Why would you do that, enslaving yourself? Try to break the bonds, the chains of enslavement, get it? Be free, bro. It's really hard for you to be free. Like this vegan slave can't be free. What is the type of people that are willing to try this despite all other uh, sort of sort of uh, recommendations? You know, why, why are you going against the, the sort of the, 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 the tide or, you know, going against the flow or following the sheep, as some people might like to say? Sometimes that takes a higher level of intelligence to actually evaluate things for yourself and not take other people's word for it, right? And once again, I will tell anybody listening. That's right. Do not confirm anybody's fake beliefs and don't take their word for it. Base everything on facts, your own facts, your own experiences. You know, th this is the same guy who says vegans are stupid and deranged and they don't know what a healthy diet is. Where did he say they're stupid and deranged and all this kind of stuff? Where? Show me. Produce it. Produce it. Do you have any evidence? You can't just say something about something and not produce any evidence. Hello? Is, well, how many people are fucking vegans? Like, like, there are... A lot. There's a lot of crazy vegans out there. I think that's why I, when I go to Nations, there's so much meat there now. It's on sale. Fuck, there's stacks of meat now. Like, more meat than I've ever seen there before. I guess more meat for us normal people in nature who are still part of nature. More of it for us and less for you. So you go on with your morals and suffer, bro, better than the last time. Because that's not the kind of suffering I like. There is the suffering of success. And then there's suffering. There's like the suffering that won't kill you, that makes you successful. But then there's the suffering that it's just you're suffering for no other reason than ridiculous morals which they don't they don't they don't exist in this world morals don't exist here that's none of these things bro that's man's world like e e even just culturally vegans tend to be pretty alternative the amount of vegans who are They're not alternative have you seen online that chick with the cow suit going into the market uh goatis he produced that so there's the proof she goes into a market she's disturbing she's mentally disturbed throwing blood all over talking about killing animals and eating animals she's insane if she was in nature i doubt that in nature she would be doing any of those things because she would have to eat like everybody else animals she'd be eating animals too because that's how you survived or like have tattoos and a fucking million yeah we just been eating let's see we just been eating animals for two million years but all of a sudden it's new it's called we call it the carnivore diet it's something new and improved shiny car yeah you know but when we're, when were we eating plants when were we eating plants maybe when we were starving we dug up some weird plants but you know we discovered which ones poisoned us and killed us because we died if your friend died we wouldn't eat that plant again right <laughs> there's the experiment for you nose piercings and shit so if you're it, like if his idea is oh if you do something that's unusual that means you're smart well how many people are vegan it's a pretty unusual fucking lifestyle but this guy will fucking claim i don't know he never said that vegans are idiots you're a fucking idiot where did he say that vegans were idiots do not take my word for for it you should i know vegans calling uh carnivores idiots but then all those vegans are in the compilations now, vegan compilations, where they're making videos about how they become carnivore. <laughs> because the vegan diet destroyed them. They deteriorated and they nearly got destroyed. Yeah. Always try for yourself. Always verify. Because that, you know, at the end of the day, you're the person who has to live in, in your body. You're the only... Oh, 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 try for yourself. You'll never know, you know, if something's good or bad for you until you try it. You know, everyone's been telling me crystal meth is bad for me and it will ruin my life. Okay, what does crystal meth have to do with trying trying uh, different foods, uh, diets, to see which one, which one is going to work just for you specifically? I don't know. I don't trust this vegan slave. I think he's still doing dairy products, but that's just me, man. I think he may be even a fake vegan for all I know, because how could he have 
how could he be like this already at this point? But then again, he's getting injured a lot at a young age, which is weird because he's weak. He's weak because vegan diets weaken you. That's what they do. It's toxins, they weaken you. Life and my teeth will fall out and I'll suck dick for money so I can buy more crystal meth. But, you know, I, I, I think that's kind of, you know. I have no idea what he's going on about meth. This has nothing to do with a carnivore or vegan No, diet. just following the mainstream narrative. You know, that's just being a sheep and not thinking critically. So yeah, that's true. Why you want to be a sheep and follow mainstream and not think critically? Think critically, man. Think for yourself. It's not what you think you know. It's what you don't know that's going to hurt you. This guy's really, you know, his problem is he's young. He has a lack of experience and wisdom. He hasn't built up any of that yet. Uh, he eventually will grow up eventually. Maybe. Uh, I don't know, man. Well, why don't you just try crystal meth? And if it works for you, then it works for you. Oh, my God. This guy is just fucking brain dead. I, I think this guy should eat his own fucking brain because apparently... Why is he brain dead? He weighs like over, he said he just weighed in his video, he just said he weighs over 270 pounds. He's a pretty big dude. He's pretty, he's pretty dense. His muscle is pretty dense to weigh over 270. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And he's pretty strong, bro, for his age. I don't know, he's like, uh, what is he, he's, he's in his 50s, like me. He's in his 50s, he's pretty strong, and he's got pretty good muscle density, man. I gotta say, he's not, because he's not on any carbohydrates. Pure carnivore diet, zero carbs. It's pretty dense, yeah, man. Apparently, it's meat. The woman has to experience the consequences. Um, by the way, Richard, uh, meat is not deficient in any nutrients, and meat doesn't have any toxins or sugar in it. So it must be healthy. See what I mean? It's like when people say to you, exercise is healthy. Well, name me one thing. Name me one health benefit of exercise. There isn't any. There's no health benefits. You understand me? Exercise just makes you better or fit at doing those things. It has no health benefits. See what I mean? What is the health benefit of a vegan diet eating poison all day, poisoning yourself with these toxins called oxalates and shit, whatever else is in there, all the other toxins, okay? What is the health benefit of that? Tell me, what is the health benefit of that? Tell me, what is the health benefit of a vegan diet that's toxic, that's poisonous? At least physically or what? What is the health benefit of smoking cigarettes? They're poisonous. They're made from plants. What's the, what's the, what's the benefits of drinking alcohol? They're poisonous. They're from plants. What's, what's the purpose? What's the health benefits of injecting steroids? Well, they're poisonous. They're from plants. They're toxic too. See, everything, uh, these drugs, how about the drugs at the, uh, the pharmacy? They're drugs. They're made out of plants. They're toxic too. What about the stuff at the, far, at, the, at the health food store? They're made from plants. Oh, they're toxic. Waste products is that they're toxic, so they're bad for you. Just because something they wrote something says healthy on it doesn't mean it's healthy. Just because you eat bark off a tree, does that mean it's healthy if, because you're starving? Of course not. It's not healthy for you. I think you need to grow up, man. What you're doing. Uh, and therefore, in my view, I think it takes a great deal of intelligence to... Uh, Buck the system and actually find something that actually works for you rather than relying on someone else to tell you what to do and and therefore perhaps yeah you know you know when your parents told you don't do drugs well do the drugs well, why would you listen to your parents do the drug he's not telling you to do any drugs hello what are you talking about see how triggered richard is because this is what vegan diets do to you toxins and poisons they make you insanely crazy that's look at him the way he's acting because he's crazy what are you a sheep what are you stupid are you dumb you'd listen to some you're actually watching what plants do to you they control your brain they they go right to your brain the toxins somebody else do drugs <laughs> this guy is such an idiot uh free israel donate two dollar yes he's an idiot because he's healthy and strong eating his natural diet but you're smart because you're eating toxic plants. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, Richard. That's that's great. And getting injured and uh, you know I don't know, busting shit. Your no knees going out and everything else and acting and acting crazy because the toxic the toxicity going to your brain, man, destroying your brain cells. Yes. This is this is your genius, bro. 
most sane slaughterhouse worker. Let me see. Hey, excuse me, sir. Let me see. He's a doctor, and what are you, Richard? A begging slave on YouTube. Begging slave for money. Hello. Hi, we're just asking New Yorkers. What are you... Uh, having undeniably good result. Yeah, he does, he just keeps trying to hammer this guy. What's this guy's crazy? He's in, totally insane. I mean, that is clearly happening. You know, you'd have to be in complete denial to say that's not occurring. Oh, people are having undeniably good results. They are. They're leaving. I can show you uh, compilations in my community section. <laughs> There's so many vegan compila compilations. They're all being diminished and deteriorating and destroyed. They never had a sex drive. The sex drive came back and everything. They're all going on carnivore diet. Let's go to carnivore cringe Instagram. You want to go to carnivore? Uh, you want to go to vegan compilation? Let's go to vegan compilation, okay? Let's go see vegan compilation. Here's one from 2022, bro. Gotta love these ones. Here, here's one. Oh, I love this. Man, like, I'd be super bloated. And honestly, it's tough, man. It, but I have to make this decision for me and my health, you know? Yes, he has to make this decision for him and his health, bro. Um, I didn't think this time would come. It's been a great three years. I started to notice that... Yes, they didn't think it was going to come, man. I was getting really bloated with all the food that I ate. Anything that I ate, I was bloated. I was nauseous, and um, I felt inflammated. My legs will hurt. I will drag my legs out of my bed, and as I walk to the bathroom every single morning, I was dragging my feet. January of this year, 2022, when I got my ferret ferritin tested, it was a four. Look, I'm already not even partly in the middle there. This is a long video. You'd have to watch the whole thing, man. It's just, they're crying. All these vegans. I went from like being a 20 something. Yeah, I tried everything and it was at the point where I was like, I think I'm, you know, have to consider eating meat again. Being vegan had become such a big part of my identity. It See, it became part of her identity. She didn't eat, she didn't go vegan because because it was for health purposes she went because it was part of her identity <laughs> how stupid how stupid could these vegans be and then she's like well i gotta go back to eating meat why you gotta go back to eating meat because 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 these plants are poisonous and they're destroying me hello it was really bad my energy levels were never consistent like i know all of them in this whole thing right here because i watched the beginning i watched the whole thing they're all complaining about energy levels down their hair falling out their teeth gums this that their pp not working everything's just coming apart deteriorating because your body is looking for resources it's running out of these nutrients they hide in your cells you have trillions of cells but when they start running out you'll die if the last cell can't replicate I just had less and less energy. Yeah, David and I are not strictly vegan anymore. We have been... You can actually become cancerous if you're on a vegan diet. Why is that? Because any given time, if you run out of these nutrients in any part of your body, well, then it'll start to produce cancer because it's trying to keep you alive to procreate, have kids, and then die. It's like weather change. When the weather changes and it gets starts to get cold, plants... They ramp up production of their seeds so that they can leave some seeds behind their DNA so that they can replicate for the following season. And so your body creates uh, this cancer comes out because you've died. That area of your body or you have died. You're a walking zombie now. So you're going to live a little bit longer. So you need to procreate, fuck, make a kid and then die so you can leave your DNA behind. That's what it's for, really. Really, you've already died. It's just the, your cells went senescent. They went senescent because lack of nutrients. They go senescent because they're not getting nutrients. And so they can't replicate. And so they replicate cancer cells. They start just replicating like crazy because they can live off anything. <laughs> kind of dabbling in um having some seafood um i then became vegan in january for veganuary and i just carried it on because i was like i've always wanted to be vegan i don't even know two or three weeks ago i was just like it's causing me to have second thoughts then it's not yeah i can't go through the whole thing you can watch yourself there's many compilations 21 22 19 dot 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 so but anyways let's go back to richard because i'm more interested in richard richard is an idiot himself he's calling everybody else an idiot but he himself is an idiot 
So the result. Yeah. And again, there's some Here truth comes the bullshit. That. However, again, I think it is situational. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, we know that carbohydrates... Sorry, I guess this is live. It just keeps going on and on. So he's going to complain again. ...which can fuel glycogen and also help with blood glucose, uh, regular, or, you know, increasing blood gl glucose to a degree. Um, Maybe let me see if I can find that spot again. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I, I don't know where it is anymore. Oh, there it is. The concerning thing is, I mean, there are people that are literally coming off with regularity, lifelong chronic medications, some of them extremely expensive. You know, some of these biologic drugs, which cost literally thousands of dollars every infusion done, you know, you know, sometimes monthly. Uh, that's a lot of money. We're talking. Richard, is, he doesn't want to hear that. Look at his eyes. Look at his face, the expression. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to know. I'm unnatural. I'm an unnatural slave, man. I'm a crazy vegan, unnatural, mental, lifting, gym slave, fitness slave, dot, 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 bro. <laughs> begging, begging slave online because, look, I'm moving. I need expenses because I'm not moving. I'm pretending I am but I, so I can squeeze every buck out of you other slaves out there. You other slaves have to give me part of your slave. Uh, wages so you can support me the slave vegan slave <laughs> into the billions my of vegan culture slave channel whatever the hell this vegan slave channel billions of dollars and so I think people are like well we'd like to continue to make our billions and billions of dollars on the on the suffering of all these people and and if they find it yeah we want to make the you know this they want to make money on the suffering bro what can you do man that's just how it is they don't need that anymore that really really uh affects their bottom line you know and i, and I think there's I, I mean what you see is two things one a greater greater awareness that our food supply is i mean effectively poisoned i mean it's, it's just not good for us in general and you're also seeing a number that's absolutely true our, our food supply is poison this is coming from the guy who fucking eats in and out burgers and calls it health food it is Meat is healthy for you. It's, oh, that's the slave food that they give us. It's farmed animals, of course. It's farmed. Vegan slave. Listen to me, vegan slave. You're not in nature anymore. You're in the artificial world. Get it? The artificial slave world where, they've, where they have enslaved you in this world. You're, it's not free. You have to pay for everything. It's not free. They've enslaved you. Nature is free. That's why when they're trying to talk about the Garden of Eden, they go, where's the Garden of Eden? You want to know where it is? Nature. Nature is the Garden of Eden. You don't pay taxes. You don't pay anything. It's free. You eat animals. You roam around. It's free. It's free to do all these things. Free in, to be in nature. But you want to be in an artificial world, man-made world, but whatever. What the fuck would you know? People realize that when you cut all that crap out, eat, you know, just whole foods. Doesn't even have yes, your food is sprayed with glyphosates and a bunch of sprays. It's poisonous. And they produce their own toxins and poisons to protect themselves. They're the apex uh, organism on this planet. Plants, duh. How do you think they protect themselves? Run away with what? They're going to lift their roots and run when animals come to eat them? Carnivore, but just whole foods. Uh, carnivore, I think, is particularly effective for fixing these food addictions. But you are seeing a general waking up of the population and there are people that prey upon the, sh the, 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 the so-called sheep or the people that are still asleep uh, to the tune of you know making very good livings on this and so some of them feel threatened by this you know if you if you make you know i mean you think about you go to the grocery store and you look at the supplement aisle i mean there's uh, you can't even count how many pill bottles are in there and you do you, do you think how like doesn't sean um promote supplements wasn't he uh didn't he have affiliate links to some supplement company hey bro was wondering if we could watch this it's most likely carnivore supplement it's <laughs> maybe tomorrow or whatever pretty sick dude okay whatever dude the dude he's giving himself even more of a mechanical advantage by using a trap bar with high handles so as okay, far what does this have to do with carnivore diet stuff or whatever vegan diets about him doing a trap deadlift he's so jealous this guy is so crazy insanely jealous as deadlift goes um he's insanely jealous of people that are not suffering like this suffering vegan slave i think it's actually gone down <laughs> i i don't know about his other lifts um he said uh his best ever um, his best ever overhead press was 
235 when he was 35 years old. And yeah, okay. He was a young guy then. 35 is still not that not that old. He'd be pretty strong. I'm pretty sure he was strong when he was young, okay? Don't try to compare, man. Don't try to compare. You're going to get old one day. Well, maybe not. Maybe you'll die early because vegan poison diet. <laughs> and right now, he can only do, I think, 215 or, or, yeah, like 225 or something for a one rep max. Um, it, again, if he was still trained, like... If he was still training seven or eight years ago, it doesn't make sense that he'd, you know, be stronger now if he's, like, making claims like this. So he probably just stopped training, you know, seven or eight years ago. When he I don't know. He's on a carnivore diet. He's on a natural diet. And there was no deficiency, no poisons or nothing. So uh, I would say he's pretty strong. And if he wants to use a trap bar, let him fucking use a trap bar. Who gives a shit? Why do you care? He was in his like 30s or 40s and now he's just training more probably i would say probably in those eight years i've managed are you jealous that he's training more he's put on about 10 pounds of muscle which may not seem like that much you know it's it's uh, a little more than a pound a year but at my age it's it's actually reasonably well i've been lifting i've been lifting weights for 45 years now so it's not like i these aren't newbie gains that you might might obtain in, in the early years and so the literature is quite clear when it comes to muscle protein synthesis. You know, that's how you synthesize and build muscle. That's right. This was the best part. I actually saw this video today when he put it out. Uh, that carbohydrates do not provide any additional muscle protein synthesis. Uh, at they don't. They don't. They can spare protein, but they don't. They don't additional protein synthesis. No, not, not from carbohydrates whatsoever. They will give you the pump, and they'll create artificial muscle growth called sarcoplasmic growth if that glycogen exceeds that breakdown. Yeah, for sure. Stimulated by insulin. Yeah. So um, this is remarkably idiotic. Uh, so he's looking at. No, it's not. It's uh, actually it's from uh, it's from a, a government report. You understand me? So how could it be idiotic? They paid for that. You're the idiot because you didn't you didn't create that. You didn't you didn't pay for that. Mechanistic data. Yeah. Um, after. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna tell us how it works in his sick brain, a vegan brain. A training session, eating a meal with protein and carbohydrate isn't going to accelerate muscle proteins. And hold on a second. After a training session, unaccustomed or accustomed, a chronic lifter or an untrained lifter, which one, you vegan slave? Do you even know how that works, the body? Do you even know what happens? What happens to a person that lifts, that is unaccustomed and starts lifting weights? What happens to their muscles and their body? And let's say you get some muscle damage. How long is protein synthesis extended if you have these micro injuries? How long is it extended? Is and how long is blood levels elevated for? See what I mean? But if you're a chronic lifter, that protein, what, what are you doing in the gym? How, you're breaking down proteins, right? There's a window for protein synthesis because you lifted some weights. The cells swell. Okay, they swell up. All right. So <clears throat> what, how long is that window for? What's that window? What's that window for? How long does it last? This is. But if you follow people over a long period of time, they're going to gain more muscle if they're eating carbohydrate in their diet. They're going to gain more muscle if they eat carbohydrate. Yeah, they'll gain more sarcoplasmic, sarcoplasmic proteins. But that is not that is not associated with contractile proteins. You motherfucking vegan motherfucking slave, bro. You fucking retard. Because they can train harder and longer. Yes, they can train longer and harder like a goddamn fucking vegan slave like my motherfucking self, bro. Get it? So I can fucking wear myself out and fucking accelerate aging like the motherfucking piece of shit that I am. The fucking lifting fucking vegan slave fucking begging slave on this channel. Through, uh, greater, uh, through greater time periods than people on a low-carbohydrate diet. Yeah, for longer periods of time. So we can slave ourselves for longer periods of time. The people that are on carbohydrate diets, these sugar diets, yes. These artificial diets, which we shouldn't be really eating. Uh, your training intensity and volume is going to be lower on a low... How do you know that? If you're eating a high-fat 
carnivore diet, high fat animal diet, you're going to have energy because it's a known fact in PubMed, NCBI is going to tell you mitochondria function better on animal fat than they do on carbohydrates. They become dysfunctional over time in carbohydrates. You can look it up in Google. I can prove everything I say. Look it up. Carbohydrates mitochondria become dysfunctional over time but when it comes to animal fat they function much better on animal fat motherfucker yeah motherfucker and it's fucking true bro it's on fucking internet go fucking look it up you piece of shit low carb diet so who the fuck cares about um like just looking at muscle protein synthesis after a single meal yeah who gives a fuck about their health might as well fucking destroy it you need a bunch of sugar fucking polysaturized just fucking overload yourself and destroy your health mitochondria so you could be a dysfunctional motherfucker in the future yeah like you motherfucker well after a bout of exercise this is about being able to train with higher volumes with higher intensities and for what purpose is it that you need to train for higher volume and higher intensities you can get that from animal fat you piece of shit but why do you need to do it in a chronic state so you can wear the motherfucking self out faster than the last time and accelerate more aging you piece of shit over a long period of time uh Sean's an idiot. Like, like again. Yes, yeah, Sean's an idiot, but you're a fucking moron and a piece of shit and a retard, right? So he's an idiot, but you're a retard, right? Aha, uh -huh, I get it now. This is the typical bullshit that you see from carnivore diet promoters. So this is the typical crap that comes out of, out of a mouth, out of a vegan goddamn slave. The fucking shit that he just keeps talking, but he doesn't prove anything. Like, at least fucking Sean Baker brought proof. He proved it. He popped stuff up on his screen. But this motherfucker, he just opens his pie hole, his motherfucking pie hole, and shit comes out like the motherfucker that he is. They'll use like some stupid mechanistic bullshit that's taken completely out of context to say, oh, see, it doesn't matter if you eat car. Oh, he took something out of context. But when you bring up something, you're not taking out of context, right? Because you're fabricating, motherfucker. You're fabricating false things, false claims. You're just speaking. Carbohydrates. And, and no. I know. You're speaking, but the body's doing the talking because the brain's gone already. Right. It, it matters a lot if you eat fucking carbohydrates. It matters nothing to eat carbohydrates. I'm not eating any carbohydrates, and I'm fucking massive, and I got a lot of energy, and I f got more energy than I've ever had. And so when I add more animal fat, I feel even better with more animal fat. So what do I do? I don't like to eat too much fat from beef, but so I eat a lot of fatty fish, like salmon and stuff. That helps a lot. That makes me even way better way better we'll talk about you need carbs to stimulate insulin well it's it's well known that pro you don't need carbs to do that to stimulate you don't need to stimulate insulin if you if you're an accustomed and you damage muscle fibers eccentric exercises then guess what's going to happen the protein synthesis is extended you're going you're to be insulin sensitive that whole time it's extended for an entire week and blood levels are elevated during the repair and the remodeling phase and you can look that up motherfucker it's in fucking fucking pub med fucking it's all over ncbi you piece of shit you fucking faker of sophistication vegan slave protein alone gives you as much uh stimulus for insulin that you need and adding carbohydrates does not add to that in any way shape or form and i agree with him 100 percent because based on my experience i'm in my 50s been there done that and it's the same thing it happens over and over again you don't fucking need it now, there may be some benefits in, in, on the other side of the equation. Remember, net protein or net muscle building is, is relying upon muscle protein synthesis. That's right. You can look that up. It's, it's in, you can look it up. It's online. NCBI. Protein synthesis needs to exceed that breakdown to see that mass on that myofibular for hypertrophy to take effect. That's how it works, motherfucker. Less muscle protein breakdown. And then what That's you right. have left is the, the... That's right. You have to suppress that breakdown. And then what happens is we are, you're kind of in an anabolic growth, growth state. Your nitrogen balance is even and you've suppressed the catabolic hormone. The catabolic hormone has converted to an androgen. So it doesn't have to compete with the myositic androgen receptor, making you anabolic. And now you're building up proteins as opposed to breaking them down because it's either turnover or they're building up and breaking down as we speak right now during the day, the whole day. But if, you're, but if protein synthesis exceeds that breakdown, you'll be in an anabolic growth state. The net, and some people will argue that uh, carbohydrates can limit 
uh, muscle protein breakdown and, and why are we breaking down muscles well well it could you be used as a, a sparing effect for the for the protein in your body and it's a slow it, complex carbohydrates they're slower acting and so they don't spike insulin okay so yeah there's an increase in insulin but it's not spiking that's all can that make you anabolic i can't really tell you man i i, I can't tell you it's hard to say your body produces glucose if it needs it. Your body will produce it. So when people are worried about myofibular packing, they say, well, we need this, we need this sar uh, sarcoplasmic for myofibular packing. If you are doing that, which you, none of you are, but I'm just saying, instead, you're just building up more sarcoplasmic and not the packing. <laughs> there's, no, there's no sarcomeres or whatever, these, the muscle fibers. But anyways, the point is you don't need it. Your body will produce it. So yeah. Uh, in, in some sense, you know, it's a protein reservoir, so that may go into the energy supply, right? And so, um, the other... Yeah, so this is just remarkably idiotic. Uh, when you're doing weight training... He didn't even let him finish, but whatever, man. But the point, this guy's so stupid anyway. You're just speaking to another slave, just a vegan slave. The uh, primary energy source you're using is carbohydrate. If you do not eat no, that's not your primary energy source in nature. Your primary primary uh, energy source when you're eating animals would be animal fat. Uh -huh. Like I said, look it up. Your body functions, your mitochondria function much better on animal fat. Eat any car carbohydrates, you will not be able to lift with as much intensity. With as that's a lie i'm lifting with a lot of tense intensity and right now actually i'm not even incorporating a lot of animal fat i was incorporating a lot of fat and i found i have a lot of intensity a lot of energy i feel fucking amazing bro i can't even stop making videos i can make a million videos a day bro i just have way too much energy so because i'm packed with nutrients high nutrient diet you don't need that your cells they live off nutrients. That's what they want. No, that fat from the from the animal. I'm going to get some fat in there. There's going to be some fat. I'm not overloading on it. But like I said, your body will create these ketones. As much volume uh, as you would eating a high carbohydrate diet. And you need all this volume. Why? What are you training for? To wear yourself out? Age you? Age you, Richard? You want to age yourself, Richard, you motherfucker? That is going to reduce the amount of muscle you can build over time. Uh, well, there is no debating this. No, it's not. Over time, muscle you can build over time. If you're not, listen to me, if you're not damaging muscle fibers, getting progenitor to even donate its nuclei to further that domain, you are never going to build any muscle. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, bro. Ask any fucking exercise scientist, Mike Isretel, uh, for example, you need carbohydrates to... Ask Mike Isretel? Where the fuck is he? He's some kind of specialist, like he, he fucking, like he's, he's some special person. You can read NCBI, man. They paid money for those reports. You don't need it. Uh, maximize muscle growth. It, it, they're essential. No, protein synthesis needs to exceed that breakdown, and that maximizes muscle growth. Hello? For uh, being able to exercise with intensity and volume. So it goes into the air. Okay, let's see what builds muscles because obviously Richard, he's in his, well, no, I better not do this because if I do this, I'll lose my mark. You can look it up, man. And the other thought is that carbohydrates will help you fuel your workouts better so that you can train harder and, and get a better result. And again, there's some Here comes the bullshit. That. However, again, I think it is situational. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, we know that carbohydrates can fuel glycogen and also help with blood glucose uh, regular, or you know, increasing blood gl glucose to a degree. Um, what we see is that look at Richard's eyes. He wants he wants Sean Baker to confirm confirm his fake beliefs. Why isn't he confirming my fake sheep beliefs? My vegan fake fucking brain beliefs. How how dare he? How dare he spew the truth? Those athletes that are adapted to that fueling strategy do better with that fueling strategy. That is to say... That's true. You get adapted to it after a while. You do good with it for a while. But it will diminish you over time as you get older. It says it in NCBI. They talk about it. They done tests on this. If you keep hitting it with those, those carbohydrates, they convert to sugar. They will destroy your mitochondria. You'll, you'll become dysfunctional as you get older. That's why it's better to be on animal fat. They function better on animal fat. Uh, mitochondria. If you're used to. 
Yeah, so you can be um, keto adapted or adapted to a low carbohydrate diet. That doesn't mean it's better for you. What do you mean it's not? How do you know it's not better for you? He's Richard is making this stuff up. You could be adapted. You could be adapted to anything, and it's I don't. Is that good for you? Because you're like, look, if you're you're look, if you're in the wild, you're going to eat meat and animal fat, and so is so is Sean Baker. He's eating protein and animal fat okay so he's just because he, i don't know he's gonna say it in his video maybe later now i don't fucking know but this motherfucker richard bro he just keeps going on and on if it doesn't meet his fucking motherfucking agenda you then eating a high carbohydrate diet it just means yeah your body's made some metabolic adaptations how the fuck would you know you fucking cunt how the fuck would a cunt like you know that you fucking piece of shit you weasel you don't know anything man you're crazy you're an insane vegan slave, bro. To compensate for the lack of fucking energy you have. You know, I can't stand this cunt. Every time I see him on his channel, he comes on here fake. He's a faker of sophistication. This is the retardedness. You have to listen to this fucking mop, this fucking child speaking to you, an adult listening to a child trying to tell you how the world works. Give me a fucking break, man. Why would you do that? Why would any fucking person that with half a brain that is wise and old listen to a motherfucker like this? Oh, I forgot. There's a lot of young sheep online, young slaves, lifting slaves, gym slaves, vegan slaves that will fucking buy the shit that comes out of this guy's, this fucking pussy's mouth. Like, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. Training. Yes, it doesn't make any sense. Why would any fucking person with half a brain listen to a motherfucker like you? You know, predominantly utilizing glucose, then you're going to do better with carbohydrates. There's no doubt about that. But what happens to someone who is chronically adapted to a lower-carb diet, a ketogenic diet, uh, for not just a few weeks, but months and months and you notice I really love using a profanity, man. It adds to the parody in this video because this fucking, this pussy deserves it. This sheep. Perhaps years and years. The fucking sheeples. The vegan people are sheeples. Well, then the energy, you know, is dependent upon, you know, other energy sources, particularly fat. You can train. See, there we go other energy sources fat you can train on fat there's a lady in my section i just posted a video of it there's a lady she's like top right now in her sport she went on a high fat carnivore diet saved her because plants were were disrupting her from being a champion very intense yeah so no um e even if you make metabol oh, so, uh, so yeah uh, no even if you make i'm gonna i'm gonna fabricate something because here i come with my mental wisdom yeah my artificial wisdom. Yes, here we go. Look, adaptations to more efficiently burn fat. You are not going to get it. What adaptations? You eat animal fat and fucking carnivore diet, bro. That's what you do. You get enough energy source. Mitochondria function better on it. As much energy. Uh, you, you, you're, you can't. It's just impossible. Again, the main energy source. What do you mean you can't? It's impossible. Well, fuck would you. How the fuck would you know a piece of shit sheeple like you, a fucking cow like you fucking know that? See? Oh, I forgot. You're not a cow. How would a banana like you know that? <laughs> used when doing uh, weight training is going to be carbohydrate if you how do you know that have you tried that motherfucker like have you fucking tried eating animal fat to see if it doesn't work you fucking piece of shit you fucking liar you piece of shit liar all right you sophisticated you fucking faker of sophistication piece of shit kid hey listen kid have you fucking tried anything in your life other than fucking babbling and begging for money online have you ever had a job in your fucking entire life or done anything with yourself no nothing other than get injured you do not have those car and scream vegan carbohydrate stores you're not going to be able to train as hard and for as long even i man I've done it, the lady did it on my channel, and many other people have done it. They train very hard on animal fat because mitochondria function better on animal fat. Look it up in uh, NCBI, it tells you there. 
And if you're like keto adapted and you're gonna burn um, fat as an You don't have to be keto adapted, nothing. You're gonna burn animal fat as energy. Your body will burn fat as energy too if it needs it. It's called triglyceride, ever heard of it? It's kinda in your body, yeah. So it's not a um, ah, uh, no. If your body needs energy, it'll start tapping into your fat source and burn that as energy. Get it, motherfucker? Yeah. Energy source more than somebody who isn't like keto adapted. Absolutely, as guys like Phil Prims and others have demonstrated very intensely with a primarily fat-fueled diet. You know, you're still going to have some glucose. You know, your glucose never goes to zero. Your hepatic glycogen reserves... Exactly, never goes to zero because your body produces if it need, needs it. ...still be reasonably topped off. You can still produce for those high levels. Certainly for the, the, the uh, uh, effort that's required for muscle building. Now, if, you're t if we're talking about marathons and multiple wads on crossfit or something like that that's a different story but to just to build muscle uh you know the main ingredients are going to be number one training training is the absolute most important aspect of it you've got to then why training is not the most important myofibular can still expand through protein synthesis but training does help if you're damaging muscle fibers there's something for the body to repair and remodel bigger and stronger the for sure would you recommend somebody eat a diet that makes it so they can't train as hard as uh, as much and as often how do you know that can you prove that can you prove that you piece of shit put in the consistent work in the training uh the other thing beyond that is you've got to have adequate protein and then beyond that is adequate energy supply you know and so if you're breaking down muscle or do we talk about muscle protein synthesis versus muscle protein breakdown if you're breaking down some of that mu that's right and some that goes into the energy supply to uh, produce, say, glucose. You know, we have gluconeogenic amino acids. We also have some ketogenic amino acids. But if you're breaking it down and carbohydrates inhibit that a little because you have plenty of energy, well, what happens if you're used to using uh, ketones for energy? You know, then you supply plenty of ketones and free fatty acids. Uh, then you're going to have less breakdown as well. Um, at least that's theoretical, I would suppose. But practically, uh, you know, I've been able to put on muscle. I know a lot of people have been able to put on muscle. Yeah, yeah, so this is just nonsense. This is just nonsense. Even though he put on muscle, everybody else has put on muscle. I put on muscle, he's done it, I've done it, everybody else has done it. But of course, to the fucking vegan slave, this is nonsense. Of course, because it, it doesn't conform to his beliefs, his fake beliefs, get it? He needs somebody to confirm his fake sheep beliefs, his vegan slave beliefs. Since nobody's saying it's impossible to gain muscle on a carnivore diet. It's just not ideal. What? Impossible? Nobody's saying it's impossible. It is the only way to build muscle. Eating fucking animal protein. Get it? it? It's It builds muscle. That's You need animal protein. You're made up of animal proteins. You need to eat animal protein to build muscle. It's got to exceed that breakdown. Yeah. Why, if your goal is to build as much muscle as possible, why would you eat a carnivore diet? It's fucking stupid. What? If your goal is to build as much muscle as, prop as possible, why would you eat a carnivore diet? Because it's not lacking in any nutrients, and there's no toxins, and there's no sugar in it. But if you eat plants, they're, they're, they're nutrient deficient, and they're anti-nutrient. They have poisons in it. They poisons you. They're anti-nutrient. What are you talking about, motherfucker? Muscle. Now, again... We see a lot of people. If your goal is to build as much muscle as possible, why the fuck would you be on a vegan plant diet? A toxic, poisonous vegan plant, shitty fucking diet. What the fuck? This guy's totally retarded. Pointing to guys who are taking steroids. That's a that's a completely different. It's <laughs> a completely He's mentally ill and sick. Completely different uh, conversation here. You know, I don't take steroids. You know, my my. You know, I, I'm carrying around. Yeah, the vegans have to take steroids to preserve whatever's there. Try to extract whatever they can from these fucking toxic poisonous plants. That's what they're eating, but I doubt it. They're liars. They fucking eat dairy products to sustain themselves. 70 pounds of mass right now, 265, 270, when I, depending on what I last eat. That is a lot of muscle mass for particularly someone who's not on drugs. Uh, you know, and uh, so those people... And I'm around that, I'm around like him, that weight. So I'm around that category like him. That's quite a bit of mass for him. 265, 270, that's quite a bit for a guy not on steroids. And as you can see when you're looking at him in the shirt, he doesn't look exorbitantly huge. 
but he has a lot of density in him, that the dense muscle that makes you so heavy. Yes, that's why when you do sarcoplasmic, when you get a lot of sarcoplasmic uh, artificial muscle gains, hypertrophy, you look a lot bigger and puffier. But when you have just dense myofibulars, man, you look pretty thick. You don't look that big. That are out there pointing to, you know, bodybuilder X, Y, or Z. Almost all of them are on drugs, and so that's a completely different story. Um, you know, I, I speculate if I got on drugs, I'd be a lot bigger than I am now. I have no desire to do that. 270 is plenty. <laughs> it's plenty big, believe me. And I will probably, once I achieve the rowing goals I'm, I'm trying to achieve, I will probably, you know, probably lean back down into the 250s, I would imagine. Hopefully retaining, you know, at least a decent amount of the muscle that I've, that I've managed to gain over the last uh, several years. All right, guys. So... Yes, you can gain muscle on a carnivore diet. You got to eat, though. I mean, you got you got to push yourself. I mean, yes, you can gain muscle on carnivore diet. You 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 gain muscle on carnivore diet. What is on on meat? That's <laughs> the table. It's, you got to push yourself. It's in. Protein. It's not deficient in any nutrients, and it's not anti nutrients. But Jim, you might have to eat more than you want to eat, and that is, again, one of the benefits of carbohydrates is it's easier to <laughs> consume more calories with carbohydrates. There's no doubt about it. Um, it, 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 again, why would you recommend a carnivore diet for anybody who wants to achieve any reasonable level of athleticism? It may because it's the best and it's not deficient in any nutrients and there's no toxins and poisons there to interfere with anything. Uh, Richard, you sheeple? Makes no fucking sense. Eating a diet that yes, it makes sense to eat these toxic plants, which will fuck you up, give you disease, and every every motherfucking shit. Look at Blaha and everybody else. You want to be like that? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yes, and injured like Richard all the time. Injured on the carnivore diet gives you less energy. I mean, on the vegan diet. Sorry. Be injured like Richard on the vegan diet and all these fake things and your the vegan compilation, the hair is falling out, this, that, my pee-pee's not working, yes. That causes more um, protein breakdown where you're more prone to lose muscle mass. Why? There's more protein, what, breakdown? If you eat animal protein, there's more protein breakdown? What is he talking about? He's insane. Meat is highly nutrient. You know how muscles grow, Richard? Let me let me explain this. R muscles grow through with nutrients. Cells love nutrients. When you put a petri dish, when you put plants in a petri dish and you pe you put meat in another petri dish, guess what happens? The cells in the petri dish with the plants, they run away from the plants. Want to know why? Because they're toxic. They call that flight or fight. That's why you have an inflammatory response all the time in your stomach and then your extremities when you eat plants because they're toxic. They're toxic to your cells. They don't like it, so they flight fight. But when you eat meat or eggs or anything like that, animal products, you never get an inflammatory response because all the cells are now absorbing the nutrients they want more of it and then they sometimes you get more hungry because they want to store them now because you've been running out eating these toxic poison artificial foods and plants yes richard I understand how it works richard that's why a lot of athletes chose to choose it because they can just eat more they can just they can get into a caloric surplus a little easier like i'd mentioned if you are adapted to training with glucose and carbohydrates, and yes, it's going to benefit you in that way. But again, if you're chronically adapted to uh, utilizing more of a fat... If you adapt yourself to eating uh, fucking these carbohydrates over time, trying to use that as a fuel source, like I said, it, over time, it will destroy your mitochondria. I did a video on it. I It's in my community section. There's information I posted way long time ago, way, way down. And that's what happens. Yeah to restore your your mitochondria wow that takes a while i had to be on animal fat to restore it these plants destroyed my mitochondria i became dysfunctional and so i went back on a high animal fat diet and what i keep doing now is i buy like neck bones and bones i just boil the bones down and stuff and make bone broths out of it and i just keep drinking that to increase the collagen production to increase the functionality of my mitochondria uh, because they're the major powerhouse of your body. Without them, you can't build muscles. 
Yeah, they need to be functioning functioning properly. When they're functioning properly, no matter what age you are, you'll be able to build muscle, you'll be stronger, you can function better, quicker, this, that. Just everything becomes better. It's not, you know, as long as you provide your body that energy, you're going to have less muscle protein breakdown. However, that adaptation... And your brain functions a lot better with fat. When you eat, like, nice fatty fish like salmon... All these vegans, when they started to eat that, they went, boom, my God, brain power came back. The fog went away. Sex drive came back. Boom. Ha-ha. <laughs> period can take three months, six months, a year perhaps for some people. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Have you been able to successfully put on any muscle whilst on a car? Uh... What a giblet head. Yes, of course. Everybody put on muscle and carnivore diet. It's your natural diet. Why wouldn't you? See what I mean? So, yeah. You know, of course, Vegan Slave, he doesn't want to hear that because he's not confirming Vegan Slave's fake beliefs. All right. Well, that's it for the Sean Baker videos. Well, that's... Uh, thank God for that.